As you accelerate and as you find yourself in the presence of high sources of gravity, your time actually slows down as viewed by others. And then you come back, you will be younger than your twin sister that you left back here on Earth. That, in a way, allows you to travel into the future. But the question is, can you travel into the past? That gets a little risky because suppose you prevent your parents from meeting each other. Then how would you be born and then become the person who goes back to prevent them from meeting each other? See, so you get some internal contradictions. There are people who are working on exotic solutions to Einstein's equations that allow backwards time travel, but they're exotic beyond measure at this point and not something that is an ordinary consideration. We used to think, not because it was proven, but because it was fun to believe, that you might go through a black hole and come out the other side. Hawke demonstrated that that's not the case that all the information that you contain that falls into a black hole actually stays there and later on evaporates out in the form of Hawking radiation. And we can account for all the atoms that went in by the evaporation of the black hole that comes out later. So you didn't go anywhere. You just simply got spaghettified.